Hey everybody, it's January 20th, 2023, and this is the Coffee Fuel Woodsman Channel. Welcome aboard. I'm Chris, this is Tilly. Up behind the camera is Johnny and Specka. And as you can see, we're doing a tent one today. Um, so a little bit about the trip. It's about minus one right now. We are uh, on the biggest lake in Nova Scotia. Sorry, the second biggest lake in Nova Scotia. We just came across the biggest piece of water I've been on in that little canoe, in the roughest water that I've been on in that canoe, on the coldest day in coldest water. So that was the roughest water in the biggest lake in the coldest time of year that I've ever paddled. A lot of could have went wrong there. Glad it didn't. We uh, were pretty excited when we got to shoreline. Unfortunately, there's no way around it. You got across the channel and the wind was out of the north and uh, uh, show a little bit of that in the intro with all the choppiness of the water. Um, come here, Savage. This is Specka. She's a little bit crazy. Um, I gotta get moving. Talk to you in a bit. We thought the snow was gonna make a liar out of us, but here it comes. I'm just um, gonna work at getting this pile of branches reduced down to usable parts and to Separate, uh, separate little columns here, so we know what to burn and when. Not so we know what to burn. Johnny's just grabbing some bigger stuff. You see my tent down there. We just brought the canoes up and through there. Hopefully, uh, hopefully things don't get too buried. But she's starting to come down hard now. All of a sudden. We got this tarp up just in the nick of time. Kind of huddled underneath, but I'm at the very base of it. We got quite a bit more headroom further out you get. Oh, well, it's starting to come down a little heavier now. Uh, I just went and got a little bit of firewood and uh, Johnny's still out looking for firewood. We got quite a bit. We're gonna have to start bucking it up here in a minute. Well, tonight's gonna be chicken wrapped in bacon stuffed with brie and bacon and some um, rice side dish things that uh, that you just boil in the bag they're pretty easy to put together then some peppers and some mushroom i didn't bring any onion i uh, just figured we didn't need it for this this kind of meal and it's all going to be done in the dutch oven so interested to see how that one goes never made it before watched it on kind of the same thing on simon a bloke in the woods except for he did it with chicken thighs just did the bacon and uh, he baked it really neat like up on a trivet and then in a pan inside his dutch oven we're going to risk it and try to do it right from the dutch oven which reminds me i gotta get a tripod oh. well things are starting to get a little a little frigid had to put on my my new wool hat, put on a buff, and uh, 
I swapped out that down coat for my uh, hand knit sweater my wife knit me. And Johnny's already got his coffee going. It's a little bit of this stuff. I don't know where you're watching from, but if you can find this for your coffee, it's delicious. And I've been farting around, so I gotta get brewing up my, uh, my coffee. This is my little cat, cat, can, cat food can stove that Johnny built me, based on a fairly popular little design that I had paid money for at one point. Neither of us brought filters, so we're either gonna have to drink the water and hope for the best, which I'm not too concerned about, or we're gonna have to uh, boil and then drink the boiled water. But I think I just drink it straight out of the lake. I'm not too worried about it. All right, well, I've, while I'm sitting here waiting for that coffee water to boil, uh, I got a couple of things for Christmas. Got a new GSI Infinity Backpackers mug which fits directly into my toke stuff. Uh, for those of you that follow the channel, saw I think it was on my Kenemy, Kenemy Canyon backpacking trip a couple years ago. I left it too close to the fire while I was uh, just sitting around it and it melted it, warped it right in. My mother got me a harmonica in the Kia G for Christmas, which I'm pretty excited about. And it's the Special 20 by Horner, which means that it's got a plastic, that's called the comb, that black plastic stuff you're seeing. That's usually wood, but uh, it should be a little bit more robust. And uh, Kia G, I mean, I, I think I do play a few songs in the Kia G, so. Uh, in terms of some new gear that I'm trying out for this trip, this uh, Outdoor Research Helium Down Hoodie is a new piece of gear that I just ordered because my old gray one had so many holes in it that there was no feathers left in the arms. And uh, this one, I'm not a big fan of the hood. However, the, the hood on this one and the shoulders are made out of waterproof-ish material. So I ended up going with that just for a little bit more robustness. And I've already switched out of it because of the snow. It's very warm. So it's, the snow is hitting the coats and it's melting. So the sleeves are already wet. You see Johnny's got like kind of the same style coat and his sleeves are all wet and stuff. So I figured where I had other options, I got this Arcteryx Gore-Tex coat. I figured I'd just put that on with the, uh, the, the sweater underneath and that'll keep me nice and warm the, for the day. Uh, one of the long time subscribers Matt uh, he and I actually met up in the real world and um, he ended up finding a bunch of different MRE meals and uh, so I'm all stocked up with those I'm really looking forward to trying those out and really appreciate that Matt and he and I are going to try to get out for a trip whether Johnny will be able to come or Dave or any of the other fellas we'll see but um, yeah it'd be nice to get out on a, a couple of nighter with him and show him some of the spots I know, and he'll show me some of the spots he knows. The good news is, my right hip's really warm all of a sudden. Some issues with the GoPro the battery on this one uh, for some reason is just dying now I got a little uh, battery brick I can plug it in and charge it and film at the same time so if I have to I'll do that um, I figured I'll use it a little bit more with the snow coming down as it is but uh, the audio quality isn't going to be as good but I'm going to show you around the camp oh Johnny's still cutting up wood to stay warm his tent 
back in the back there. As you can hopefully see, it's coming down pretty good. This is a fair amount of snow building up. And down here is me. I'll walk you down. There are canoes. That's looking like it's holding up pretty good. I may shake the snow off it at some point. I'll take you out to the water. Look at this. So we're in a little cove that looks, I don't know, it looks like maybe the waves have subsided further out, but can't really tell. Right. Decided pretty damp feeling, so it's time to make some fire. I just went down and shook all the snow off my tent. It's quite a bit, but it's not really that bad. If it just keeps coming, coming down like it is, it's probably going to be okay. There we go. This stuff's a little damp. Yes, yep. Let's... You stealing more firewood? Hey, that's firewood. One thirty. It's time for lunch. Got to dry these bad boys out. These are Costco gloves. Johnny brought us canned ham. Wait, no, corned beef. I'll lose the key here. And he brought us a little wedge of some kind of cheese here. And I've got ciabatta buns and spicy aioli. I think that's how you pronounce that. You mind opening that? Yep. That's uh, brand new. So. All right. It's the key to success right there. Get your little nose out of there. Oh, 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 I think it's all gonna come out. Look at that. Johnny, the beef popsicle. Um, so this was a pretty last minute trip for me. And actually, Johnny, how long did you even plan this for? It wasn't very long. Uh, he packed the night, packed last night, but he had planned on this sooner. So, yeah. anyway, he had the the wherewithal to remember the Hawkins cheesies. Ooh, see what heated corned beef tastes like. Uh, mayo. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. We'll just put it just put it on top. <laughs> Oof. Because <laughs> mine is a big big wedges. Lunch is had and I was sitting there in my chair half asleep so I decided I'm gonna come down and uh, climb in the tent set up the uh, sleeping area bring the dog in with me and maybe even have a little nap Uh, so yeah, this right here, my Nemo Tensor long wide mat. I'll uh, get the attachment kit for the top quilt on and I'll have a little nap. Try to keep my dog warm. Hey, eh, pupper? Oh man, I've been laying here for about an hour or so, maybe a little bit longer. It's uh, 3, 3.40 now. 
Johnny went for a, a little hike and uh, he got back, came to the tent until he wanted out. That's where she was laying. Right here in this nice little cozy corner. I gotta get moving. Get up. Gotta make that tripod and uh, start preparing supper. So I can hear the snow still going outside. I'll show you before we go. And my life jacket on this side. Let's see what it looks like out there. It's probably full of snow on this side. Ooh, it is. Oh yeah. Johnny says it's real windy out there too. Alright. Time to head up. Ooh, got the fools out there. utensils too. Oh. Okay, I see one thing draw back from tent to hammock. Getting out is a bugger. Whew. Definitely a lot harder than just getting out of the hammock. Oh. Okay, you too. Look at this. Beauty. Johnny's only got me out here the one night and I'm making him, him and I food. So he's gonna stay the second night and I'm not sure what he's gonna eat. Probably could eat leftovers by the looks of things. There's this bag right here that I carried in has a lot of food in it. Breakfast sausage for tomorrow, maybe for tonight. Bacon for tonight and probably as well tomorrow. Sorry. Red pepper mushroom for the meal tonight, chicken, Two fairly good size breasts, a boatload of brie, which I will leave Johnny some if he wants it, but I have a feeling I'll just be carrying it out. So this is the rice that we're going with for tonight. I'm gonna take these chicken breasts. I'm gonna borrow Johnny's knife because mine is still in my backpack. And I'm gonna slice a pocket into them, stuff brie into there and bacon. Oh, thanks Johnny. And then we're gonna wrap them with the bacon. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. Does he make decent money from his... Make a little thing of Ziggy's Brie. I have never done this before, Johnny. I take no responsibility. Uh, Claire said just carve a little pocket in. Okay. Meat pocket two, successfully done. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Now, oh. the wrapping. Never done this. One piece. Oh, there it is. All right, so now we gotta figure out. We got it, uh, there it is there, the two. They've gotta bake for about an hour in the Dutch oven. There. We'll start it like this and then uh, We'll build a tripod as it's kind of coming up to temperature. Okay, I'm gonna throw these in. All right, tripod is done. Um, we've suspended the uh, crock pot with it just a, the line that I used to tie the top of the tripod. It just drew longer, did a little uh, overhand knot at the bottom and then use a prusik so we can move the pot up and down. Hopefully it doesn't slide that uh, the line coming down is pretty thin compared to the, the prusik itself. So, but so far so good and it's not a lot of weight. Well, we got the light on. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this or not, but this is what's on tap. Not for the whole night, because uh, it's a little pricey, but uh, my father-in-law Harry got me that for Christmas this year. Even though it was a secret Santa, I'm not supposed to know that. Um, and, uh, yeah. A little bit more. I brought the whole bottle. I'm, I'm taking the majority of this back with me. I actually got a really cheap Evan Williams bourbon in my bag or it might be Jim Beam or something, but this is just for show. Needed the, all the weight in the pack to get us across that channel. I gotta get the blood pumping, so Johnny's gonna take me for a little hike around to the uh, 
the point of the peninsula that we're on. That way I can see the wind conditions. But look at this snow. Isn't that nice? The water. You just can't even see the other side. A little bit. Too punchy, but score. Let's go for a little walk. Grabbing some wood. Ah, we're back already. Mission accomplished with the wood. And uh, look at her. God, that, that's an AquaQuest 6 tarp. AquaQuest 6? Sure. AquaQuest, yeah. AquaQuest tarp, I don't know. It looks enormous. Quite a bit of snow built up from sliding off. It's our little, uh, our little cave. Oh, gonna have to make some coffee. Alright, so it's been about an hour. We checked on it 10 minutes ago. It wasn't anywhere near really being done. Um, so we're going to let it cook a little while longer. We may have to resort to dicing it up, throwing all the stuff in with it, and just letting it cook like a normal stew type thing. I'm not sure. Uh, but right now I'm going to put the veggies on. So I figured I'd show you. There's a big thing of brie there. I'm going to throw that in as well. As you can see, we put some charcoal on top. Try to heat through a little quicker. So far, didn't seem to work that well. We didn't. We didn't really have enough, probably. Well, so, do we want to just let's let's yeah. just throw shit in? I throw all the veggies. Let's in start then. throwing stuff in. Throw this piece of brie in for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Mushrooms. It's like a almost like a broth in there. Yeah. Try to keep, try to leave this with Johnny for his tomorrow night supper if he'll let me. No. <laughs> yeah. You sure just one? Yeah, that's a lot of food, yeah. actually. It's a lot of chicken. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of it. Okay, 10 minutes. Set the timer now. <laughs> and I'll try not to put any ashes in it this time. No promises. But we have to put on the barbecue sauce. This is the stuff I use for this, or this is what we're going to be using. You can see that. There. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Oh, yeah, it's like it's just all steam. All right, well, let's just dump a bunch of this in. It looks good to me. Yeah. So we'll just let it heat up for a couple of minutes, maybe reduce. Away we go. But this is a problem. The uh, it's so cold out. Ooh, there is still brie in there. That uh, oh, thanks, Johnny. It's so cold out that you can't really film very well because all the steam coming off the. I think that rice disappeared in there, <laughs> didn't it? Did you put any in? <laughs> we definitely should have put the second packet, but. Look how much is going to probably be left over as is. This is it. I'm not sure if it looks appetizing, but it should be. Well, Johnny tells me that he really likes it. The chicken is actually really, turned out really tender, so um, it was a bit of work, though. What time is it? 6:30. It's yeah. It's 6:30. We started cooking right around. I think he started preparing around 4.30 or so, or maybe 5. Um, so it took quite a while, and it wasn't the easiest thing ever. And it didn't turn out perfect, obviously. I mean, it'd be nice if the bacon was crispy. I don't think that's... It wouldn't have been possible the way I did it. But yeah, the chicken is very tender. And uh, the barbecue sauce, and I might have put a little too much in, but it's still it's pretty good. So uh, yeah, another win. Alright, we are in bed. There's the little pup there. I wrapped her up in my coat. And that's a pretty good night. I mean, I know we're kind of heading to bed a little early, uh, a little earlier than normal, 
but that's uh, you know to be expected in the winter it gets dark so early it was dark at like I don't know 10 after 5 because of the the weather so um, you know cook once cooking's done you're done eating unless you get a book or something to do plus it's a little cold for sitting around the fire pit so kind of this is what you do you go to bed so I know this one is looking forward to having a long winter's nap so as am I I'm looking forward to like getting a good night's sleep in this tent hopefully that's what will happen I'll let you know in the morning how it goes anyway the night from the tent good morning everybody it is seven o'clock and uh, we just woke up got a lot of condensation on this tent a lot of condensation on my bag I don't know if you can see that um, yeah a lot anyway doesn't seem like a big deal since I slept uh, nice and warm and we slept like 11 hours which is excellent so anyway I'm gonna start packing up the stuff because uh, I want to be able to zip out of here as quick as possible if the weather is right so I'm just gonna pack up the stuff in here and then go see Johnny looks like I got a little snow on the top of the tent too a little bit of condensation up there as well. Just on our way over to check how windy it is on the lake. So, Tilly and I are making our way through the morning winter. Beautiful out here. Ooh. Well. Doesn't look as bad as yesterday yet. It is wavy. What do you think, Pupper? Yeah. It's too big. Well. Judge on what I just saw, I think it looks okay. Um, I'll get Johnny to have a look before we set off. Um, maybe best to try to go up and not cross at the widest part of the lake like we did yesterday. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Look at this. Wow. All right, I gotta get this tent down. Well, Johnny seems to think the same as me. It's not looking as bad as yesterday. So as much as I want to stay, um, I found out last night that I got to go work overnight tonight. So um, the bailout option was to paddle down this shoreline and just go with the wind and then get Johnny's wife to come pick me up. She's only available till like 11.30 and I, I don't want to tempt fate because if I miss that, Claire doesn't have the car I do. So there's no way for me to get out. So I, uh, I'm i kind of just stressing out a little bit about the conditions. So, I mean, if I, was, if I wasn't working, I'd be more relaxed about it. I'd be like, ah, whatever, I'll just hang out, paddle across, and if I can't make it, then I'll go back down and you know have breakfast and all that but that's not to be the case this time uh, I'm gonna leave Johnny with the uh, uh, bacon and I'm gonna try to leave him a couple of sausage and I'm just gonna pack everything else up 
leave him whatever he wants and I'm gonna head out all right everybody well I pretty much packed everything up I know maybe I'm stressing a little bit too much about that water but uh, looking out and seeing that it's not terrible yet I just want to get across it so it's unfortunate I'm missing a, a bacon and egg and sausage breakfast with Johnny and a lot of coffee because that's what we always do but uh, there's always next time it's better to be safe I guess plus with having to work tonight I gotta just get a move on I think I said it already um, thanks for everybody that's continued subscribers and continue watching and everybody that's new to the channel welcome aboard hopefully you enjoy this kind of content and uh, you'll keep following to see more thanks for watching All right. All righty. Thanks, Johnny. All right, thank you. Wave to the camera, Johnny. Let's get across this, eh? Hey?